Well, I, th I think it's very important to try and get a sense of what the scientific community is, is presenting as the statement of its understanding. Um, in the climate area, what we have tried to do, uh, because there can be many voices, there are many scientists studying that, is to try and generate consensus statements, consensus assessments of what the science is showing. Uh, originally, uh, back in the 1980s, these were being done sort of country by country. In 1990, there was an agreement to try and do this internationally because all, this is a, climate change is a global issue. And so the nations of the world formed the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which was to bring together the scientific communities from around the world to try and speak or, or get consensus views about what, what climate change is likely to occur, what it will mean, what are the options for doing something about that. And so uh, this, the, the views and the perspectives coming from the IPCC, this panel, are just very, very uh, well developed. They go through an international peer review process. And so it's worth spending some time to understand what they are saying and to try and uh, look at their documents that are trying to speak to the public because they've gone through this effort of trying to phrase their science in a way that you can, uh, that it can be understood. Um, I sometimes use the example of a person having cancer going to their doctor. Now, you could uh, try and interview a whole host of doctors around and try and listen to them. You could try and read the individual publications of the doctors. Or you can try and look at the consensus statements that come through and the recommended protocols that come from the major heart institutes and other things, for example, if, or cancer institutes about what to do. And you want to have a conversation with a, a member. What a patient would want to do is have a conversation with a doctor. You wouldn't want the doctor necessarily just giving them all these independent reports without a, a chance to sort of inquire and ask questions about it and come to an agreement. And that's what the IPCC has tried to do internationally. It's tried to provide an opportunity for the scientific community to sit down with members from around the world of the policy analysis community and come up with a common statement about what the best understanding is about climate change. Those kinds of consensus statements allow the members of the public, give an opportunity for members of the public, to get a real sense of what the issues are and to understand the issue to, the, to their level in terms they can understand and do it in a relatively short amount of time. And so when you go to a scientific presentation, uh, one of the things you might ask or inquire of or look for is whether the scientist is going to be talking about their personal results or going to be talking about the sort of integrated, evaluated conclusions of this intergovernmental panel on climate change. Are they going to present that consensus view? That's the kind of thing that you want to look for. Um, if you can afford the time to listen to lots of scientists and want to devote time and, and trying to reconcile that, we'd certainly like to have people participate, and there are many people who do come and do that. But these consensus statements are designed on this really important issue to help communicate to the public at large in a quite ready way. Uh, and what's been so unfortunate and what's been happening is that those kinds of be are, are being attacked a lot by particular, particular groups trying to sort of muddy the waters and paint, that, paint them as some sort of special interest group. Uh, it's not a special interest group when you get every country in the world unanimously agreeing with its findings uh, in, in the documents that have been prepared. I mean, there's hardly anything where all the countries agree. And this is a field where they have agreed. And so these results in climate change are really very, very important.